Italy, round one. Got ten dollars to spend. Gonna buy two infantry and an artillery. That'll be put on later. And got a lot of things. Hopefully, we're gonna do um, a lot of big goals in mind. We're gonna go ahead and lay out our uh, combat moves. So uh, we are going to move um, down here. These are combat because these are not owned by the Italians. So we'll go ahead and do these. <coughs> Now you're going to move one guy from Ethiopia into Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. We will move uh, one guy from Ethiopia. Um, actually, excuse me, we're going to move two people down from Ethiopia into Kenya. And we will move one guy from Italian Somaliland up to British Somaliland. So we'll take those um, up here. We're going to move in an infantry and an artillery into Tunisia, along with the tank and a mech. So let's move two, going after Tunisia. Um, what else? We will also be looking at uh, making a combat move with a cruiser, a destroyer, and a sub, along with a transport that will be picking up um, one man and we'll be coming down let's see make sure that's all I want to pick yeah I think that's all I want to pick up uh, one guy coming down this way and we'll be dropping that man off into Gibraltar if the sea zone is sea battle is successful so we're going after the cruiser but it's an amphibious assault we're going to try and drop him off in Gibraltar um, if that's successful uh, we also have up here in southern France we are going to bring a tank this way um, an artillery um, actually two artillery tank and two artillery going for southern France um, and I think that's all going in there so tank and two artillery um, over here in this C zone 97 that stuff is actually going to stay put but we're doing an amphibious assault against Greece so we're going to be picking up two guys I will go ahead and uh, I'm going to replace this blue chip with three guys one two three picking up two men putting them on this transport there's no battle happening and just dropping them right across because of that coast right there into Greece um, this is an amphibious assault so the cruiser and battleship are going to get a bombardment we are also coming in with one man and a tank from Albania uh, we are also bringing our fighters in one two has three movements left, same for this one. And we are also bringing our bomber from Northern Italy, picking up two guys. And he is going to go one, two, drop off in Greece, these two guys. then he is going to simply fly himself back to Northern Italy. And I will drop that off there. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I want to do here. I don't think so. Um, oh, and this is non-combat move, but I'm just going to put him on top of this chip to remind myself I have one Italian infantry that is going to move into uh, Bulgaria. So the Yugoslavia is left alone right now. Destroyer 96, these two ships in C Zone 99 left alone, and the uh, French fleet in 93 left alone. So, I think that's all the battles we've got. I'm just going to roll the dice here. Um, so, no, nothing needs to happen in this location. Uh, yeah. Um, so, that is now controlled by the Italians, British Somali land. Uh, Kenya, also, nothing happened, no battle automatic victory. So we take Kenya. Um, that is plus one for Italy. 
goes up from 10 to 11. Down one for Britain. So from 47 down to uh, 46. Um, yep. Uh, what else we got? Oh, taking Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. Plus one for Italy, up to 12. Down one for Britain, down to 45. Okay, this battle right here. We have a two defending against two twos, a one, and a three on the attack. So let's see what happens here. So we'll do the attack first, three for the tank, two for two twos for artillery and infantry, and one for the mech. It's not paired. Looking for one hit. Got it. So the French defender rolling a single two. Got it. All right. So we are going to lose an infantry. Um, and French lose an infantry. So Italians take Tunisia. That will be plus one there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a marker just to remind myself of the non-combat. Um, so take that. Let's see. We will go ahead and do this battle right here to hopefully beat the cruiser so that we can drop somebody off in Gibraltar. Crossing our fingers. So we have, uh, there's no destroyer there and I brought a sub. So we are gonna get one sneak attack with a two. And then we have a destroyer at a two and a cruiser at a three attacking if the sub does not hit. So that's the sub. This will be for the cruiser and the destroyer. Defending will be a three for the destroyer by the British. So looking for a hit by the sub. No. So, destroyer and cruiser, nothing. All right, so defending is a three. Got it. All right, so we will take a hit with our destroyer. So, destroyer's dead. We are down to a cruiser and a sub, hoping for a hit with a sub here. Nothing, hoping for a hit with a cruiser. Got it, all right. So, your cruiser getting defense. Got it, all right. So we will lose, uh, in this case, we're gonna lose the sub. So Italians lost a sub and a destroyer. Um, British lost a cruiser. But that sea zone is now clear, so the landing can happen, and uh, it's not worth anything, but monitor, no point value there. But the Italians are taking control of the Gibraltar Strait, so we can control who comes in and out of that strait now. All right. Let's see, battle is done. Uh, Southern France. We have a three and two twos attacking against two twos. So, looking for two hits here. This would be, in the words of Vertel, risky biscuits. So, looking for two hits. Not a single one. Defending are an infantry and artillery, two twos. Nothing. Pressing on. Got him. Both dead. Defending our two twos. Nothing. All right. So, Southern France has been captured by the Italians, taking three. All right. So, France goes down three. Italians go up three. Just swap places. Okay. Um, let's see. Next battle going for Greece. All right, so we brought in a total of one, two, three, four, five ones, a three, actually three threes because of the fighter, um, and the tank, two fighters in the tank, three threes, five ones for the infantry. There's no artillery, so no boost there, but we are going to get a bombardment with a four and a three, um, just one round of that, going against two, three, four, five twos. Also kind of risky. So bombardment with the cruiser, and battleship, um, we have three threes for the tank and two fighters, and then five ones. Looking for a total of five hits. After the first round, these two are out, and we're gonna be going against five twos. All right, so if the attackers die. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, we got it. Okay, so more than enough hits there. All right, so let's see what we lose. Oh, wow. Whew. Four hits. That was a
a lot. Okay, <laughs> so back over here. We took it, but at a heavy cost. <laughs> so, Greece has been captured. The Italians lost four, freaking four out of five on two and six chance. So four guys. Down. So we're left with one infantry, a tank. The fighters will be flying back because um, they can't land there. They will go land in southern Italy with their two remaining moves. Um, t -t 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 yep, so that bumps Britain down two to 43. Bumps Italy up two to 17. So we are plus one here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I didn't, I didn't bump something up somewhere earlier. Italy wasn't down anything. Yeah, I'll total those up in a second. All right, last thing. Uh, we got moving somebody in, taking these five infantry right here. So we are staking claim to Bulgaria. Um, so that is plus one. I think that moves me to 19. I'll go ahead and add that up again in a minute. Um, didn't bump anybody down there. And then this is, the rest is going to be non-combat movements. So we are going to move. What are we going to move? Um, Italians, non-combat. All this stuff has already been in combat, except for these three infantry, but they're not going anywhere. Um, yeah, we're not doing anything with them. Uh, I will move um, these units back into Libya. We will leave one man in Tobruk. Yeah, we'll leave one guy in Tobruk. Okay, so that was just a reminder. Combat. Um, anything else? Non combat. Don't think so. Um, yeah, I think everybody else moved. All right. So we will go ahead and place our units. Uh, I'm going to put artillery and two infantry both in northern Italy okay so placing our units um, and now just to go back and count make sure I didn't miss anything uh, Italy took Gibraltar it's not worth anything again we started with 10 um, we hadn't lost anything as of yet um, as far as actual ground units worth anything so we were at 10, we are plus one for Kenya, that's 11. 12 here, this is not worth anything. So 13 for taking Tunisia. 14, 15, 16 for taking three from Southern France. 16, uh, 17, 18 from Greece, taking those two, and 19 from Bulgaria. So we are taking a total of $19 in income this turn. And then plus our bonuses. So let's go ahead and grab that 19. Right. 19. Now bonuses. When at war with allies, Italy takes one per territory for Ethiopia, Kenya, Anglo Egyptian Sudan, Italian Somaliland, and British Somaliland. We have all five. So that's an extra plus five. Uh, that one's done. If no allied warships are in the Mediterranean, not happening right now. If Axis controls, if Axis controls at least three of the following: Gibraltar, Southern France, Greece, and Egypt. And Italy controls Gibraltar, Southern France, and Greece. That's three of them. So that's another plus five. If Axis controls all the following territories, that's the entire of North Africa up to Alexandria. Um, hmm. Yeah, and we didn't have the other ones up there anyway, so it would not matter, it doesn't count. And we are not in the Middle East yet. So, that is it for bonuses. So, we are gonna walk away with 10, 25, 29, 
nine. Okay, 19 plus 20, 10 in bonuses for Italy. Not too bad. So that is it for Italy. On to Australia. Uh, 